video. I wanted to talk to you this time about our NCAA League and discussions with some 83 owners and about the crazy, <laughs> uh, just long, long list of things that we were cra uh, cramming into 84. Uh, he was brought up that all of it seemed to be focused on the NFL side. All of our premier uh, style stuff, uh, promotion and relegation, that is, uh, Champions League, the ladder challenge, super powered stuff, all the basically most of the progressive pots, all NFL focused activities. He said if we were splitting up the ability to own a team into NFL and NCAA only, that we should also offer some stuff to make the NCAA league um, unique and something that somebody would be very interested in. So what I've set out to do is basically create, uh, capture all of the magic from NCAA um, video game online dynasties. Uh, my favorite part of those growing up was, of course, the off-season stuff, recruiting, coaching, carousel, all of those things, uh, the off-season, and then I'd sim simulate the regular season, hence a best ball league. Um, so what are we going to do to make NCAA as magical as possible? Well, I have... Um, borrowed some of the fantastic ideas from the E Pluribus Unum uh, College League. Uh, he has a fantastic league. If you guys haven't seen it, check him out on Twitter. I believe it's EPU Ticker um, is the name of his profile. But fantastic, fantastic league. He has a uh, recruiting points um, section instead of the worst team bringing in the best players. You win a national championship, you get a recruiting points bonus if you have the Heisman Trophy winner. If you have players, um, well, I'm not sure if he's got with players drafted into the NFL draft early, but that's something that we're going to add. If you have players drafted in the early first, second round type of an area, uh, you get a bonus. Um, some things that I wanted to try to do with especially those players that get drafted early is to have uh, position U bonuses. You always hear about schools saying they're running back U, they're cornerback U, they're defensive back U, linebacker U. Uh, if you have players consistently get drafted highly in the real-life NFL draft, you're going to get a bonus in recruiting points when you recruit those players. Uh, the way that I think I'm going to do that is once everybody has spent their recruiting points, you can carry up to 100 points over to the next season if you'd like. I would then give you the 10% bonus or whatever, however many points you spent on those positions, uh, you would get on top of that 100 points that you can carry over. Um, what else do I have? I, I was looking at an idea I had the other day for, um, well, before I start talking about that, uh, coaching carousel. I want to have a coaching carousel. So if you don't do a good enough job winning games at your school, you could lose your job. Uh, with 90 people, there's a good chance a lot of these guys are going to want to be the same couple of schools, have a lot of Clemson fans, Notre Dame fans, whatever school you might want to be. There's only going to be one of those. So if the coach that has that school doesn't do a good enough job, they get fired. People can then jump to schools, have the team name that they want. You'd carry your whole roster over. You'd just change the name uh, over to the school that you just got hired at. Uh, what I wanted to build on top of that, however, to have some real-life geographical location bonuses. So if you are the coach of UCLA, for example, um, that you could protect a player from your region. I'm stealing from the um, the AFL league that just, I'm sorry, not AFL, the AAF league uh, that <laughs> launched and then folded this spring. They had a pick or protect quarterback draft. All the players were split up into regions. The teams then had the chance to protect a player from their region. And that was their first round pick, or they could select a pick instead, and they'd pick a player from a different region. Um, so we're going to piggyback on that idea. If you're the coach of UCLA, you want to protect the running back, number one running back from your state that commits to Ohio State or Alabama or whatever, that you could do that. If you protect a player, you pay the average cost of what the other three copies sell for at the recruiting auction. So you don't get them for free. You still have to pay for it, but that allows you to, to protect it. I was also thinking about maybe putting in the ability to protect or pick based on players that actually commit to your real-life school. So if you're a fan of Iowa, you could protect a tight end that they recruit. And same thing, pay the average cost that the other three uh, copies sell for. 
Now, if we do this, it would only be one copy that gets to be protected. So we wouldn't have all four copies protected before they ever get sold. And it would go in order of um, schools. So to accomplish this, we'd have to also have a four or five star rating system for schools, just like on NCAA. You win a few national championships, you're working your way up to a five or six star um, qualified classified school. Uh, the highest ranked schools would be ranked highest. The lowest ranked schools would have to pick from whatever's left. Uh, as you go through this selection process, you could also select a pick, which would give you a bonus of however many recruiting points. I don't know how many people are going to have yet, but then you just have more recruiting points to go recruit these people. So you could still buy the player that got protected uh, at the auction. You don't have to be completely out of out the uh, out of the loop to try to win that player, you could still go purchase them. The reason I think this would be fun is because let's say you get fired from UCLA, you don't do a good enough job for a few years, you have to start at a lower school. This would give like Texas State uh, would be a nice school to go get because Texas is going to have a lot of good athletes. If you get fired and you lose your school name without having something that makes the school name worthwhile. Who gives a rat's ass what school you end up getting? It just doesn't matter. It's just the name at that point. So I thought that would be fun. It would actually give some some um, value to what school you had. And if you can build Texas State up into a winner, then you, just like on NCAA, you can turn a school from being one of the worst schools to one of the best schools. Those ratings would change uh, every off season. Uh, okay, so the position U bonuses, the location bonus, uh, location pick or protect, the real life school recruiting um, commits, protect, uh, protect or pick system. What else do I've got? Uh, I'm going to have uh, divisions. Divisions will be a little bit different. I'm going to incorporate a little bit of the promotion and relegation stuff. Uh, we're going to have a power five and a group of four. We're going to have ten groups. I'm sorry, we're going to have nine groups. Five, five power five group of four uh, division conferences. So you'll have a conference championship game. We will have NCAA playoffs for the top eight schools. We will have an NIT playoffs for the teams that don't qualify for bowl games. And we're even going to have, um, what's that next one in NCAA basketball? It's CFI tournament, something like that. Um, so that's what we're going to have for the postseason there. Um, coaching carousel recruiting what have I missed if you've got any ideas of ways to bring some of the magic from NCAA football into our league definitely hit me up I want some ideas basically my goal is to make it as intricate as possible without being mind-numbing and back-breaking every offseason obviously some of the stuff we'll have to track on a spreadsheet but I want to have a proven um, ranking system um, we'll also, in addition to ranking the schools on a four or five or six star scale, uh, we'll have the coaches will also be ranked on a certain scale so that they, um, really good coaches will be recruited when a good school has an opening, that type of a thing. So I think there's a lot of potential to make the NCAA really, really, really cool. Um, how to make it really, really cool without making it overwhelming. That's the, the line we're going to play with. But I wanted to give you guys some ideas of things we were going to do. Um, lots of other stuff, obviously, but I don't want these videos to track too long. This one and the last one now have both been around 10 minutes. It's a little on the long side. I like to keep them at five or less. So, uh, hit me up with any questions you've got. As always, AD4Grandmaster on Twitter. Um, this video will be on YouTube. The audio version will be on SoundCloud. Uh, sign up for our waiting room. Fill out our registration form. I think that's about it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Talk to you later.